What's going on, everyone? Jake Morgan, Shady Creek Marina, El Dorado, Kansas. We are the Kansas Ranger Boat Stealer. And today, I have a 2024 Ranger 520R. The goal of this video is to give you some measurements that Ranger does not necessarily publish that people may like to know. Things like the step-up heights onto the trailer and the boarding ladder there. How wide is the compartment for the net? How wide are some of the front casting deck compartments? Try and keep the video around 10 minutes. So starting with the trailer, and we're, we're pretty level there. Starting with the trailer, this rear step here is about 21 inches up off the ground. Twenty-two to that foothold there. Same twenty-two to that forward one. About thirty-eight inches to the top of the spare. Be kind of a tall height to get your leg up there. Front boarding step. There is some traction there in the front of the trailer. It's about two feet, so. Two feet with the right foot hold, then that left, it's about 31 inches off the ground. I do have this extended all the way up, and that sucker's tall. Yeah, that thing's a little over three feet off of the, the base there when it's fully extended. Pretty sure they got a new boarding ladder system for this 24. that got some traction tape on there when this is down put that down it's about 16 inches off the ground for your first foothold there all right let's hop in the boat This rear fishing chair, if you got a short co-pilot, it's about 19, 20 inches from where your legs would hang over to down to the deck. And then the front bike seat, I got all the way down and in the front position. It's about 28, 29 inches. There is enough open space in between our trolling motor antenna and everything else we got going on in the bow here. Get a foothold there, step off onto the dock. Our cup holder, that's about three and a half inches in diameter. These front tool holders, half inch on those outside two, smaller on that middle one there. A little over a quarter of an inch. This step up here, about 13 inches. And that step is about seven. Step up onto our coin box. It's about 13, 14 inches. Step up to that rear casting deck. Maybe another, maybe another six, seven inches. Behind the driver's seat, the width of this space for your net. Yeah, that's flush with the carpet there. That is about an inch and three quarters. I imagine it would be pretty easy to pop this kind of retainer plate off there. 
if you had something thicker you wanted to put in there, possibly even put some spacers there if you needed to. Right here they have this kind of non-skid and some Velcro for your handle there. From the edge of this opening, for the, the head of the net, to that edge over there where the handle would go. That is about 47 inches. Overall length from the base of the handle, what would be your fishing net to the top of the head over here. Mm, you know, six feet, 72 inches down there at the bottom. 75 at the tall point over here. Take a look at the live well. I don't know if this is by design, but this does work out rather well. When this back fishing chair is up, those wedge right underneath there and stay up. I think this is new for 24 as well. Uh, keep your cold tags all organized. You could take that divider plate out. On the port side, from the edge of the lip, and it does open up a little bit underneath there, but on the port side, from the edge of that lip to the center there, we're 14 and a half. We're about 14 high from the base there, all the way out port, and about 16 in the center. Putting the end of the tape all the way back there, about 21 inches. I'll let someone with more time figure out the actual volume of that. <laughs> All right, behind the passenger seat, we have this <clears throat> port side storage. A little shelf up there. That shelf is about four and a half inches deep. 20 and a half inches long. Six inches from the bottom of the lip, but it does go up a little bit underneath there. If you're wanting to know how exactly this boat is equipped, go ahead and pause on that. That is this exact boat we're in right now. How much space do you have to store things with your battery and charger? So this is the Ranger standard package with this boat with the uh, the lead acid crank battery and the three alum or excuse me lithium trolling motor batteries. So we did not mount these; they came mounted. Got about in between battery tray to battery tray. That was about 26 inches there. Not have a spare prop in there like I'm showing it right now. About 12 inches to the edge of the charger there. From that access plate to the bottom of that fiberglass lip, it's about 10 and a half inches. I also think this is new for 24. Just a power panel, run your power poles and not sure what that last one goes to. That might be for the pump for the hydraulic jack plate. All right, our spool helper. Let's check this thing out. That thing is a little under six inches, five and a half inches. Behind the passenger seat. three inches if 
feel like this opening could maybe be a little bigger. Irregular shaped, it's about 20 inches at the longest there. And you know, it's a little over six and a half. About 17 inches deep. I imagine these are the same dimensions as the tool holders in the front. Yep, those bigger ones are half inch. This round one here is three quarters of an inch. And that little guy is one quarter of an inch. I love these automatic lights. I don't know if I can get that to show, but they're, they're not on all the time, just when you open. Let's take these out. Okay. Our center storage, about 45 inches. inches across these little side storage four and a half the irregular shaped compartment there but that's you know 30 inches there these dividers in that makes that 14 and a half makes that 14 and a half and whatever that one was <laughs> couldn't see it Inches wide, irregular shape, about 17 inches at the longest there. All right, so your fishing buddy's real tall. What kind of leg room are we working with here? Forty-seven inches. Uh, I am like five ten. That's plenty for me with that down. Well, that is most of what I could think of to show you. Leave me a comment if you want me to highlight any other dimensions. About two and a half wide there. About four and a half at that deepest point. Little cubby storage there. Little under nine inches. Three and a half tall on that end. A little over six inches on the back there. Nice boat. Yeah, drop me a comment if you want me to measure anything else. It is December in Kansas. I bet we don't sell this till March. Thanks, folks.